Stuart says, I find when I'm soldering a thick, wide ring, even though the ends are tight together, the molten solder sometimes pulls away from the edge to leave a little indent. Mm -hmm. Any ideas how to fix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your band comes round and... It's annoying, isn't it? So it sort of does that, doesn't it? It's sort of... Um, there's like a little... It was it was tight, but it was just didn't the, flow to the... The end, yeah. didn't, didn't flow to the end. So I would say that is as a result of the two ends coming together and just opening up slightly. And it's like if you've got... Um, I'm not quite sure how I can demonstrate it, but if you had, say, two panes of glass with some water in the middle, and as you pour the panes of glass away, there's not enough water to fill the gap, so it pulls away from the edge. So I would say that would be the reason. The ends are parting a little bit. So the way around that would be to get some binding wire to just put around the ring, okay? So you put the binding wire around. You've only got to, just got to put one piece around it. Now the trick is where the top of the ring is, and it comes around like this, okay? So there's your join there. Okay, your binding wire comes along. I would put something by here. It could be a little bit of silver away from the joint like that. Your binding wire comes along, goes over that and comes down. And then you just tighten the binding wire, you have the ends coming together and you twist it. Twist it and pull it together. And because you've got a gap by here now, when you come to solder your joint, the joint will stay together, it can't come apart because the binding wire is just holding it together a little bit. Don't really, really tighten it. Make sure it's just coming together, just touch it. You put something on either side, it could be a little bit of silver, it could be a bit of steel, it could be some titanium strips on either side of the joint. That lifts the binding wire off the joint, which allows the solder then, if you want, to flow over, okay? If you didn't have those strips on top, your binding wire would come over, the solder would melt, and it would attach itself to the binding wire. So just lift the binding wire up, and it should solder stay closed, and you won't get that little dip in your joints like that. Boss ass bitch. Boss ass bitch. Boss ass bitch.